it's not very nice when you send a low resolution graphic for print it will come out very very blurry and it's not going to be nice so what do you do to convert a low resolution graphic to a high resolution graphic especially when you want to create that balance in printing now not only in printing you want to even display it on social media you are paying attention to the quality and the resolution of the graphics now we're going to do this with a smartphone now this is a square design the ratio is one by one that is to say if you check very well it means that any any size any figure that is let's say let's check this first the image size for this default design in pixel lab is 1280 by 1280 pixels all right it is a default size it means it can actually work if i say the design with this size it's going to be very okay but let me show you how to make it even better now let me reduce it to something like 900 let's go let's say 500 okay let's go again 500 and save it so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to click save 500 500 i'm going to save it now i have saved this one 500 500 now let me go over now to my file manager where the design has been saved and i'm going to show you the design here all right let me check the design this is the design take note the size for that 500 500 um see that's the size 195 kilobytes not megabyte if i open design notice are you seeing it i zoom into my screen and this is how clear it is this is how it is look at the logo can you see the logo please take note of this logo because i'm going to re, re work on it and then i'll show you how the logo is going to look look at the logo now are you seeing that it's blur 500 by 500 okay let's go again now let's use let's use something more than that so if you use a higher size custom size it means you're going to get a higher resolution what do i mean by that so let's try something like 5000 by 5000 what this would do to your design is this now in, when you have when you have put your size like this now notice that this my this my uh sorry notice that the keyboard the keyboard was showing here before the keyboard was showing here before now make sure you click back click the backspace so that the keyboard does not show again now the keyboard is no longer showing before you click ok all right so now go to save image and save it now what you will notice is that it will take time to render because it's now a large file and you will compare the two sizes you will see that they are no longer the same now let's go to file and check now this is the first one 500 by 500 let's compare it with 5000 by 5000 and see the difference now this is 5000 by 5000 one thing you notice about this one first is the size the size is no longer 100 or something the five size is now seven point two two megabytes okay now let's go i click on it now now let me show you the image look at the image look at the difference notice that this one i can zoom in into the image like this and i can see it it's still very clear it's still very sharp all right now go let's go to the logo can you see the logo <laughs> can you see the logo i can zoom into the logo like this and i can, and I can still see the logo very well it's not blurry it means that every other thing you should know that every other thing is very sharp if the logo that is also so small can be i can zoom in like i can see it very well it means that every other thing is very sharp so look at this other one this one that is 500 by 500 see i can't even zoom anymore the logo is very blurry the image is very very blurry this one the logo is look at the text if it's very sharp all right this, look at this so where you want to send this work for design you need to export it convert it to a high resolution so that when you print it it's going to come up very very sharp very very clean i hope you got value from this video my name is niamuda and i'm going to see you in another tutorial hula